<clears throat> Welcome today for another unboxing and review view. Today we got the latest edition ThinkPad X470S. Let's open it up. Tension, return material. Okay, it is recycled, but otherwise I would say this could be paper. some sweets. Nice touch. So, pretty small power supply. Lenovo Connect SIM card. So, dear sir or madam, using the password grants full access to your demo device. So, really, actually, very nice. So, um, actually, I have to admit, this is the first ThinkPad in my house and office ever probably comes to quite a surprise to you. The reason for this is very simple. Uh, back in the days, 15 years ago, when I was uh, doing Linux work, um, suspend and resume was much better on PowerPC hardware from Apple. So after my first no-name PC laptop that I used until it literally fell apart, I moved straight to Apple hardware for the PowerPC CPU and crash-free suspend resume. So I entirely skipped all the IBM ThinkPad generations. Actually, many other professional developers at that time used IBM ThinkPads, but um, yeah, I skipped those. This case I actually like very much. Professional black, um, slim and simple, form follows function. This is the Full HD Matte Edition, and I'm really curious to see how this matte display turns out. Actually, sitting here at the same window like the Dell review unit, I have to say, the display, without switching it on, it reflects less. Right now I like it already more. Nice keyboard, touchpad, nice touch point that so many ThinkPad users are a fan of. One thing I noticed reviewing the Dell XPS 13 is that the Wi-Fi reception was not the very best. Surprisingly, although the MacBook comes with an aluminum case, Wi-Fi is pretty darn good. The Dell with the composite aluminum and carbon fiber material thing had much worse Wi-Fi reception. So port-wise, it's a pretty nice setup. It has USB-C Thunderbolt, super speed USB 3, HDMI, another super speed USB-C, Ethernet. So this is the first laptop with built-in Ethernet coming uh, on my desk for maybe five years, six years. The MacBooks previously always had Ethernet and, and I'm a big fan of uh, wired Ethernet. It just works and doesn't depend on Wi-Fi reception and your neighbor's Wi-Fi and so on. And with video editing and image processing, developing, um, you have super fast connection to your file server. So I'm actually reconsidering really buying uh, one of this for myself because I'm really getting tired of always having adapters. And here, you just plug in your Ethernet and uh, you're good to go. So on this side, we got the special Lenovo power supply and another USB 3 and a headphone, microphone, like NSD. Support-wise, there's not really anything missing. Uh, maybe this HDMI is version 2 for 4K at 60 Hz. We need to check and maybe test. And otherwise, I guess you can use the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port there for video, which we probably also will test. So let's see if we can get my standard USB drive booted. Okay, now we boot up Windows anyway. As you probably saw in the Dell XPS 13 video, the display was extremely glossy and I'm also getting increasingly tired of glossy displays. So this should be pretty similar high sunshine office window conditions like the Dell XPS 13 test. And I can actually read the display. This is one of the reasons why I'm currently personally considering buying such a machine for the matte display and built-in Ethernet. So one thing we want to do is boot over Linux. Just what is the BIOS here? To interrupt normal, start to press enter. That looks a little bit interesting. 14 seconds, BIOS, okay, F1. I think it's not often I've seen F1 for BIOS. I hope you see the difference with the reflection. In the Dell video, you could barely read the screen here and actually can read the display just fine. So the BIOS looks a little bit old fashioned. For me, that's okay. You certainly not spend much time in the BIOS. And you certainly can get the things done. It's of course interesting, it still looks similar to the Intel 386 that I had, 1994 or something. Yeah, so that's the BIOS. Let's see, boot options. Of course, nowadays full disk encryption. 
So the nice thing about Linux and uh, using it on a portable SSD is that it just works. You can just plug it in here and certainly boots. So the awesome Ethernet cable. So it's actually a, what I would call quality Intel Ethernet E1000. That, that is of course very nice. So the Wi-Fi is Intel wireless. It really also just works here. Let's see. Like it is with Linux nowadays, things just work. So even with this mini multi 2 SDE, uh, Ethernet works, Wi-Fi works, uh, Intel graphic works. I would be surprised if I find something that doesn't work. Audio-wise, um, attached to the Intel chipset, it's a Realtek ALC298. But everyone is using you know, like Microsoft Surface 3 and in my original MacBook is also using slightly older Realtek decks. The reflection on the display here on the window are much less than in the Dell XPS. It's surprisingly smaller than a 15 inch uh, Retina MacBook, but okay, it makes sense. This is 15 inch and this is 14 inch, so it's certainly more portable. For me, this 14 inch screen size is more than enough. From this point, it's, it's really nice that the Lenovo T470S is more compact than uh, what I'm currently using. So, yeah, I will keep using this for some weeks and make a more detailed review. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and first impressions. And don't forget to subscribe for even more videos to come and I hope to see you soon.